Hey, it's VJ Franz K. I thought you might find this interesting. This is my Macintosh bass studio from 1998, and it still works amazingly. That's computers built to last. As you can see, I've got RB338 running there. On the screen, a couple of sound files under edit by Sound Edit Pro. And I also used a Cubase VST quite a lot on this machine when editing the tracks. 1998, think about that. It still functions, even though it's just using the front speaker because uh, the audio outputs that go to a stereo system are not, they're not connected in the right way and I don't remember how to do it at this point. I'm about to put this into storage, but it's amazing and incredible to see it all still working in much the same way as it did when it was my main machine. You can see there's a CD burner on the top there. Burned a lot of discs um, to sell, to give as promotional items. And then there's the Radio Shack mixer. Yes, I think it's a, a realistic mixer up on the top there for sound input and other things. This Power Mac G3 on the back has um, high quality audio and video inputs included. So I really enjoyed using it while making the album's vocoder and Speak No Evil and uh, some other Sonic uh, projects before that. But of course in the background is NIMBY playing, which is a song which I still perform now, except uh, I sort of slowed it down, simplified it, then added other chord changes and stuff to the melody, but it's still much the same tune it was 22 years ago. Anyway, here's two electronics that are built for creative people that survive for a very long time, that give you value for your money. Anyway. Thank you for watching for a minute. If you have any questions, post some nice comments in the discussion section. J. Franz K, Creative Tech. This was not my first machine, but it was my first really uh, creative oriented machine meant for graphic design as well as music editing, video editing, all of these things even though uh, the capabilities of this machine might now be considered crude by modern standards, but you could still do the basics. Yes, your, your cell phone or iPad is now vastly more powerful than this computer, but quality engineering meant to last.